Hi, Mauricio. Do you see tomorrow as being a must-win game? Every game, I think, is, is so important to win, uh, not only tomorrow. For us tomorrow, it's so important to, to understand that we are in different competition and it's so important to win the game, to, to be um, in a very good position on the table. And, and of course, it's going to be tough because every single game is tough. But in this type of period, um, our words opening um, are ourselves. And, and of course, we need to compete not only with the Red Star, if not with ourselves, to try to build our confidence and, and of course, to be solid and, and, and performance in the way that we, we wanted to perform. You told me after Saturday's game, you team needed to build their confidence. You can't just go from 0 to 100 after the defeat from Bayern. But tomorrow night, they have to be right back up there, don't they? There can't be any thoughts going back to what happened three weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, but no, no pressure for the for the team. They need to feel that their freedom to play. And um, I told you in the last few press conference, um, the most important is that the player feel freedom and, and performance because um, happened that it was uh, again Watford our first action. That we made a mistake. Uh, of course, uh, we were punished um, and we conceded, like was uh, again Brighton. But that happened with this type of period uh, arrive. The most important is understand that we need to give our best, um, uh, be solid and be strong and be focused and concentrate because um, when all uh, these circumstances uh, are again you. The most important is to be strong and you need to spend more energy and yes, we know very well that that situation is only about uh, with the time, with games, being solid, trained to never give up uh, and of course be focused in, in work, in improve and, and of course uh, be, all, be all together, stay all together. Okay. Take a question from Gary there. Uh, Harry, Harry touched on it. So this time last year you uh, were sitting at a news conference like this, talking about making a terrible start in the Champions League. You've done better points-wise already so far this season. Is that something you say to the players, you, you say to the fans, actually, you know, you could have four points from three games as opposed to one point from three games this time? Yes, the, the problem, the most important is like before uh, I listened, uh, some of your colleague, uh, colleague uh, said the expectation changed after the final of the Champions League uh, for this football club and for this group of of player, of course, and that is wha why um, looks uh, worse uh, the situation. But of course, the most important is uh, to build our confidence again. We are considering a lot of goals, we are considering a lot of chances, and of course, the, the results are not the result that we expect. And of course, uh, that is our ob uh, objective or principal objective is uh, again to be a solid team. Um, and, and of course, they start to performance in the way that we can performance. Um, and of course, it's going to be so important um, about the result to have three points more in our um, in our side. But the most important that we are trying to find for tomorrow is to be solid, is to recover the good feelings, performance in the way that we can performance. Um, but of course, on the end, the result uh, is going to help in case to to win. Okay, take a question, Tony. Just raise your hand so we know where you are. Um, Richard, you. you said that uh, just a little bit earlier that you, you are your own enemy now is is almost yourselves. How do you solve that within your players? Do you talk to your players as a group or individually to try to raise? Yes, confidence? I am. We are using. I, I am using to talk uh, collective and individual. Um, yes, it's a different different way to to approach to the player in this type of situation. We were talking before. I think uh, you asked to to Harry. That is maybe his worst period. No, no, that you say um, personal, if not collective, and uh, for many of our players, is the, the best time that they are in a tough period. No, that the people expect something, and we cannot deliver it from from that expectation. We cannot match the expectation that we create, and that is new, and that is. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity to grow and, and be more mature uh, on the future. Um, and of course, knowing that in football is so dynamic and, and you need to always think in, in, in tomorrow. And, and of course, uh, it's going to be a great experience. And, and for sure, we have the capacity and the quality to, to turn that uh, negative run in the last uh, few games. That uh, wasn't great, the, the results and the performance, but of course, that is need time again to build our confidence. 
Okay, we'll take a question from Dan. If you can pass the mic to Rags behind you after, okay, Dan. Uh, Mauricio, is when you say our worst opponent is ourselves, can can you elaborate on, on what you mean by that? Is what it means is uh, yes. It's, I think when you are in a good period and when you are a uh, full confidence, um, everything is is going well um, and it's easy to play because you have the talent and the quality to play. When the uh, the tough moment arrives. Always, uh, sometimes it's not easy to connect with your teammate, and always is more difficult to to do things that before looks like uh, were easy to to do, and that is normally because it's the pressure, because it's the stress, because you are nervous, you want to arrive before and score, and maybe you believe that you need to run more when it's not like this, you know. Oh, we need to. To show that we we are all together, we need to show that we are uh, with the manager. We need to show that we care, and I want to run more, more, more. And sometimes maybe it's run less and uh, not spend too much energy thinking. But for that, it's so important. Sometimes the experience, and the experience when you are living the experience, when you had uh, you have experience, this type of situation that is so important. The leadership inside to the to the pitch um, but for many of our player for I think 90 or 99 percent of the our player they were in a, always in a good period or in five year and a half or who was you know very positive all the the period and that is why it's a it's a it's a very new thing for for us you previously said I think a few weeks ago that you you, you were worried your players weren't running as much as previous seasons you, do you now think they're maybe running too much and is that, is that what you, do you, no, no, do you no, literally no. mean they're running no, too I, much i am not worried it's only that in this type of situation uh, sometimes you try you try and sometimes it's not to only try it's try but you know with intelligence um, and that is important because in this type of situation that you want to score first than the your opponent uh, if you can see a chance or you can see a goal, it's like uh, oh, every single action need to be su uh, successful, no uh, action, and that is normal. That the team, any team, eh? not only us, any team feel this type of situation are, are tough. The only way to to change that dynamic is is to stay all together, uh, stronger. Um, Try from our responsibility to um, to translate the, the calm um, and of course the belief and the faith that we have the quality to 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 do what we need to do. Okay, Rex over here. Maurizio, you mentioned the Champions League final. Are you surprised that just a few months after that, people are questioning your future at this club? No, that is football. I am not surprised. That is football. In the same way that uh, people price you, uh, if you no performance in the way that the, the people expect, um, it's normal. No, 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 no. I am not surprised. Uh, football is always about to win today and tomorrow. What happened yesterday, gone. And we apply this uh, philosophy to us. Uh, you like a uh, coaching staff, manager, um, you always you need to... You know, to think in that you need to win today and tomorrow, today and tomorrow. That is why sometimes we are too much ahead and the people sometimes believe that, OK, come on, Gaffa, you are thinking too much, too much, too much. Yes, I think too much ahead because if I no win, I no surprise me, this rumor. <laughs> <laughs> OK, take a question from Ali, who's directly in front. And then we're going to finish with Gary, Charlie and John, OK? You don't want, okay, so Ali, Charlie and John will finish. So Ali first. Mauricio, as a former defender yourself, does it pain you even more that the team's looking kind of vulnerable at the back, especially in the first half of matches? Uh, no, I, I, I feel pain when we don't score, when we don't play well, when not only when, when we don't concede. I think, uh, of course, everyone make me to uh, think, uh, oh, you were central back, uh, you know, played so much, to, so, so well, you know, you were so tough central back, aggressive. Um, no, I think, uh, uh, look, the most important is the balance and the balance uh, today is not great on the team, but we are finding the, 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 the way to, to provide the team the best uh, balance to start to to performance in in both way uh, with and without ball in in the in the best way okay 
We'll go with Charlie and then finish with John Southall. Charlie first. Just on that theme then, it seems like there's been a bit of an issue creating chances as well, and I just wondered if you what your views were on why that was. You see, sorry? On creating chances, there have been fewer than we're used to seeing for Tottenham. No, when you look at the last two games, yes. After I seen Bayern Munich, yes, but again Bayern Munich, we create a lot of a lot of chances. And one of the best uh, team on the on Europe, you know. Um, but of course, when the confidence you drop to the floor, and of course uh, Brighton and happen what happened in Brighton in the first action that we concede a goal and we lose the, the uh, Hugo. I think it's normal if you compare this, this last uh, two games. Uh, maybe yes, but the team is. I think if you go back, I think the team was creating a lot of chance in our offensive um, side. I think you know, we were we were good normally in that we in the previous season we we make. So it's more a confidence thing. The last two matches, you think? It's more confidence now. Was that what you were saying? Yeah, that it's more about. It's been about a lack of confidence yes, in the last matches. Yes, of course. Matches. That is normal. That is is a um, is natural period. That when you suffer a um, a defeat, like we suffer, because one thing is when you are not good, and on the end, seven two, even by a minute, and you say, okay, from first minute to ninety minute, you were so bad, but when you analyze the game and say the first half should be three one, three two for us. You know, and that is the problem. But after in the second half, how we concede in certain period um, of the game, that when we play well, that is tough, and of course affect your confidence and and your uh, your trust, and um, and then all that happened in Brighton that came so quick. Uh, the game is is normal that we are in a period that we are uh, fragile, but like any team. Because uh, Harry say in five years or in five years and a half, uh, the team uh, made a lot of uh, good things and we put the standard so high. Um, I think we are the only team in the last four years playing on Champions League or I don't know if it's uh, City or I don't know another. But uh, when you see the history of Tottenham uh, and now that is normal to have this type of press conference, uh, always, OK, come on, Champions League is, is normal. Looks normal on, on Tottenham, but five years ago it wasn't normal, and that is, is, is and that period arrived. But it's normal that we need to now uh, to face different period. But uh, the belief is there and, and the faith. Only we need to stay calm. But of course, like I say before, rumor are rumor, expectation are expectation, and it's normal that uh, question like uh, before uh, that we train too much or attire or rumours that can appear from everywhere, but our, our answer is to laugh. Do you know the most important thing, um, maybe we are distracted and we not talk, is our performance is not as good that we, um, we, we can uh, do, uh, or are not as good that we can deliver it. That is all the problem in this football club today, that our performance are not good, and and of course that we need to improve. But on the end, it's on another side. All the rumor that happen in any club when you know win, that, that doesn't doesn't means or no doesn't means that are true. And you need to care or pay attention about all these uh, things that that happen. But I understand this business. Eh? I understand. Is for I am 47 for 48. Look. And what? Why? Do you think that I don't have white? <laughs> because I don't pay attention in all this. Only pay attention that we need to improve our performance. And if we don't improve our performance, which is the, uh, the result after? We, what, is, what is going to be the result? Always the same in football. Yes, you are thinking the same than me. <laughs> Samaritza. John, we're going to take the last one from you. So, Mauricio, how much of it is psychological then in, in the players' heads? I mean, how do you forget conceding seven goals at home? How do you forget losing at Brighton another three goals? How much is it? Yes, but the problems arrive, arrive. Look, we um, on Leicester, 1 0, playing so well. Look what happened. No, VAR decision uh, should be 2 0. And it's one nil, changed the atmosphere of the of the game, 
and on then we lose the game. Today we three point more, maybe we are close to the and change complete the, the perception of, of everyone uh, or the action of uh, that happened uh, in this in this. Uh, but you need always some luck in in all the the game and in football too. And when it's again you and again you a one and two and three, always it's so important now to stay stronger and and then the experience or when you see the. Um, Different clubs. I remember Dortmund uh, when it was on the um, bottom um, was with Club, and after Club win the the the, the Champions League with Liverpool, that period happened. Uh, Chelsea, United, you know, uh, different clubs around the world. River play in Argentina was on the bottom and go to the Championship. River play, eh? that now is winning everything. Happened this, that type of period happened, but the most important is to stay calm and provide calm to the team because only is that you drop a little bit in your confidence. But it's so important to build our confidence as, uh, as soon as possible. Our capacity must be uh, important to you know to stay strong, strong, strong with our principle, of course. Okay, guys, thank you very much.